this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome to this week's reading. I'm using a couple of decks, I've got new decks and I've also got some news, nice news. Okay, let's go through this. Welcome back if you are a Cyber Angel, thank you for your loyal following and your likes, your thumbs up and sharing with family and friends. I do appreciate it. Oh. Thank you and welcome to the new people and please subscribe and hit that bell and um, join us in the life and you'll be a cyber angel welcome now if you would like to have an extensive reading have a look below uh, the video in the description box and have or you can either click on this little white dot in the corner that will take you to the website there you will find more information on uh, on decks, reviews, interviews, and what type of readings I offer. So let's. St I've got the um, uh, the news. Sorry, the news is I'm going. i uh, doing two things at the same time. I've just fed the uh, dog, and she's walking around, and the cat, and the cat steals the dog's food. <laughs> so I I'm sorry. I was. Uh, of course there. Um, what you can win is the Shadowlands, a brand new Shadowland deck, uh, Shadowland Tarot from Monica Budersky. That will be taking place in a couple of weeks. I've got to make a video and put the plans together for the competition. Or you can win the vice versa. I don't know whether this is going to be uh, the sec first choice or the second choice, I don't know yet. Um, as somebody, some of you might already have the Shadowlands, then you might prefer a used deck. I've used this, but I've only used it a couple of times, and I'm getting I'm snowed under with decks. So I would love to share something and show my appreciation to my followers. So if you know somebody that would love to have a tarot deck, then you can win either. I don't know. I've got to put the plan together. S um, see whether um, I'm going to do two competitions or uh, a placing of one and a second place. I don't know. Uh, we'll see. And um, I'll uh, w keep watch, keep an eye on my website as I will be um, promoting it there. Okay. So it is important if you want to join um, in competition then go to my website and next week I will be updating my website again with all the reviews I've done on the um, Shadowland Tarot I've also done a review on the um, House of Shadow that is a Lenormand deck an oracle but it's based on Lenormand then I've got the Truth the Mirror Truth Lenormand then I've got the Crystal Oracle deck by um, the Crystal Spirit Oracle deck by Collet Baron Reed, and I've got the White Witch Tarot, and uh, those are I've done a review on that, but I haven't uploaded it yet, and a postcard from Spirit. Now I'm going to go and do the monthlies as well, and uh, I feel like doing another a type of reading, an extra one, but if uh, I'm too busy, then it will be at a later date. Okay, my darling, and I know the summer holidays are coming, so I think a lot of people will be getting ready for the summer holidays. And borders are opening. Um, as you can see, my deck has arrived and took nine weeks, but thank you, Shiva. And um, I've got per uh, permission from Shiva to give away a free Shadowland Tarot Okay, we're going to have some fun with that. Okay, before I start, I would uh, you have got the star. Um, the white witch's tarot is only the big arcana. And this is you, Taurus. You are the Hierophant. And I love this deck because they're amazing for tattoos. Now, if you are a tattoo freak, then perhaps you might like to get your zodiac sign tattooed. And you can see the review, and you can see all the cards in the review. And I've put 
underneath the review I've put all the zodiac signs which card they are okay I'm just sitting here showing you so you can take a screenshot uh, if you want to or you can look them up on Pinterest also on Pinterest you can find this card print it off and stick it on your visionary board or put it in front of you something so that you can get the energy of the spirit crystal first of all we're going to start with your reading thank you very much for liking and sharing and your first card is the three of cups celebrations with family and friends and this is your reading Taurus for the 25th to the 31st of May we are now in Gemini okay celebrations you've got you might be making a party yourself you might have something to celebrate on Monday you've got the key in your own hand so you can open the door to parties or you can close the door to parties positivity or negativity and you know the what the shadow lands they're fun so just as um, an extra I'm just going to, I just shot in my head what is the um, shadow side of the three of cups so the sh that is because this this deck works with shadow because we can't do without light or dark and everybody's got a shadow and we all know that the three of cups is a celebration cups or getting engaged you might be getting engaged or living together that could be a celebration okay so the um, the shadow side of the three of cups is obviously being alone feeling left out perhaps you're isolating well the isolation should be over by the first of June perhaps you're mourning tears perhaps you're a workaholic perhaps you find op um, opposition opposant that's the shadow side of the three of cups that you have nothing to celebrate or you can't see so that's why you've got the key you can open it up and you've got three 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 wow the angels are sending you a message wake up call don't isolate yourself go out there within the perimeters and the rules of what is now right on Wednesday you have the four of cups now you can see this cat dozing and not seeing what, what is on offer he is asleep so when he wakes up he's obviously dreaming but he's not seeing the cups behind him okay but he's dreaming I wonder what he's dreaming about one two only two cups there's still two there look behind you look around you there's more on offer don't look at what you don't have look what the possibility is because you've got the key so you can, can open you've got the key you can open the door to more possibilities so long you are not focused on what isn't happening in front of you but what is happening um, around you and you've got this deck the Lenormand deck is extensive and it is extended by um, six cards I think and you've got ancestors number 42 and the ancestors are wh where you came from remember ancestors is also legacy perhaps you might be dreaming of what you want to leave behind for your children or a specific person and you've got number 42 which is a six 
which is also a stabilizer okay now look at these skulls they're all piled up but they're all in balance and funny enough is this is the first time I see it hang on a minute one two three you've got really five skulls you've got three from the above her, then got the own skull of the girl, and two underneath, so that's six. How ingenious, I hadn't seen that before. Okay. It's something that you might want to pass down to somebody else, like I said. And you might get a spiritual message from somebody that's gone over or passed over. You might see a sign. You might hear something, a new idea coming into your mind whilst you're sleeping. That could be on offer as well. So listen to your intuition and your dreams and your new ideas. They come from somewhere. The divine then you've got the Queen of Swords. Something will become clear to you. Perhaps it might be an ancestor that when they were alive and you knew them, they would say, be on time. Be on time. That's what I'm hearing now. Be punctual. Be clear in your communication. Uh, watch your intonation. You don't speak to me like that. That's all what I'm hearing. So this could be somebody like a grandparent or a parent that's gone over and this is the message through me that you're getting. I know it won't resonate with all of you. So, you know, the Queen of Swords is a Gemini or a Libra. Prominently a Libra or could also be an Aquarian. But the Queen stands for Libra. So it could have been a, a, a parent that was a librarian, or a librarian, librarian, sorry. You're going to get news, you've got the birds. Look at that. Somebody might have felt imprisoned, and you might feel stuck. And some somebody with the birds, usually somebody leaves the nest has flown the nest. This could, I usually say, has either flown the coop or the group. So somebody might, it might become clear to you that somebody is leading a group. This could be a Libra, an air sign. But the Queen of Swords, she, and a lot of readers say she's the Ice Queen um, because she doesn't tone any emotions. This is not the back of her, this is the front of her. She's covered her face. So perhaps she has covered her emotions and left the group. But you're going to get news. Watch out for gossip. Okay, watch out for gossip. Make it clear to everybody that you want clarity and truth and honesty. Okay? You don't want to listen to gossip. Okay? And there could be airmail news coming through um, telephone, text message or letter. Then at the weekend, you've got the Two of Cups. You've met your soulmate. Da -da 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 -da. You're emotionally in balance. I love the way she's drawn these two uh, anteaters. It looks like anteaters. But soulmate. Or you could be meeting your soulmate. Wow. And we've got the lantern here. And the lantern usually, uh, to me, uh, means uh, I compare this with the hermit. Uh, like you, he's standing here on his own and you've got 38, that's 11. So the angels are with you. The light is with you as well. So number 38, you are trying to look for something. Perhaps you want to gain knowledge. And you're shining light on something. Perhaps the, a light will be shown or clarity will come in the weekend once you meet this person. Wow. Like the hermit. The hermit is also wisdom. Always seeking wisdom. 
who is seeking information, growing his wisdom. So, so the light, something, some uh, you might find the right path at this moment, at the weekend, and something will become clear to you. You will see the light. Okay. Now, they're fairly new for me too. I've used them a couple of times and I love the um, House of Shadows as well. You might seek um, um, spiritual knowledge coming together because you're like you've got your soulmate. It, you might want to get more information about a soulmate. What does it mean? What does it do? How can you identify a soulmate? Perhaps you might want to do a meditation, light a candle, sit down, meditate, contemplate, help. There is an unexpected change coming. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You've got the tower. Somebody didn't see something coming. Perhaps you might get clarity. Okay. And that's why somebody is leaving. Perhaps you are leaving the group because you've outgrown them. You want more wisdom. You want more clarity. 16, 7. Luck is on your side. You didn't see it coming. You didn't use the key then. If you're not going to use the key, then the Divine will step in and change your situation unexpectedly. Then 20 doors will close. Uh, or one door will close and 20 will open. Sorry. Then it will be taken out of your hands. You've got choices. You've got the crossroads. Choices to make or decisions. And that is what I can see here with the birds as well. If, if you feel imprisoned, then you have to make a choice what to do about it. Okay, and then we go to the Lenemon. You've got the bear. You're back in balance, you've got 15, so that's 6, you will be balanced. The bear, somebody could be jealous of you, but the bear also means luck. He can stand his ground, he's strong enough, he's big enough. Everybody's scared of him, so don't scare, scare anybody. I'm just saying, you know, make it the right decision. You're strong. You can make the right decision. Now you've got a lot of blue here. You've got purple, blue, spiritual. And this is a bluey indigo, purpley color, the bear. And so is the Dumortier right stone. Dumortier right. So you have to make decisions, do some organization, and get things in order, declutter, clearing, clear what you don't need anymore, make a list of priorities. Not all your plans will come to fruition this week, because you are focused on what is in front of you, not what is around you. Have you worked out plans? Perhaps you didn't, because this sudden change will take place. Or perhaps you didn't plan correctly. When you get this Dumoria right spirit, then the, the, the spirit will give you a message to take an uh, to take the ideas in your head and commit them to paper in an ordinary fashion so that you can get things right okay for you are supported right now in the structuring plannings that will help you achieve the fulfillment and healing you seek 
here you are. She's writing the books. She wants clarity. She she is an orderly pe person. The Libra or the air sign. She uses her wisdom and communication. Beautiful. Now you've got the star, so there will be a wish coming true. Now, I love this this deck. Like I said, you that brilliant for tattoos so there will be a wish a goal or coming true and also the star gives you protection because it is a spotlight so you might be in the spotlight let's have a look uh, recognition celebrations yes you are okay projection a blue ablution comes from first water crystal starlight raining round your etherical eth eth auric crown. I sit in your tiny face can bring things from a distant outer space into your mind to contemplate. Projection is the fastest form transcending sluggish flesh and form the the baptism provides a tiny death oppression rises then subsides when habits quit the suffering the mind flows forward as a spring that is the the little um, poem that is written with this book or this this card and it's uh, it, you can use with, with this book you can use it as an indication an affirmation or a spell so clear your mind get rid of those bad habits boom get rid of those bad habits make a decision you might be always stalling like the Libra the Libra Libra that's his worst thing to stall because he's always weighing things up. Now, the last message, Taurus, is Dearest Taurus. It says, Dear you, but I will address it to you because I'm reading it for you. On Earth, we humans learn about life by telling stories and creating new ones based on shared experiences. And that's how you learn. Eventually, after repeating one often enough, it becomes your main story that you use to define yourself and the world so to get the answers you seek you must get vulnerable and hear your story when you tell it ask why do you tell it is it really true what else can be true can you see the truth that the spirit is in all things do you see how other stories overlap and intertwine? Spirits, spirit loves stories for they are like blueprints for co-creation. So tell the one you know to be true about your, you a story of courage, gratitude and honesty. Boom, honesty takes courage to tell a hard tale or a story okay and the <laughs> the Queen of Swords stands for honesty tell and empowered an empowered story about well-being wisdom and grace you will experience the world according to the story you tell about it so make sure your stories you are yours that you are proud of your stories genuine loving fan club a genuine loving fan club you've got your fans up there in the other realm your ancestors aunts uncles grandfathers grandmothers mothers fathers who knows you know whether it resonates with you you um, now to um, analyze the reading you need to s stand in your strength 
Let's have a look. We had a number 8 somewhere, didn't we? No. Uh, you need to make sure that you are standing in your strength and are balanced. You've got 22, an angel number, which becomes a 4. Steady foundation. Number 11, 38. And again, a double number, 33. 333. Three, three. So go and have a look on the internet what 333 three, three stands for. It is also creative. The house of three is creativity. Also. And three is also Gemini. Because that's the third house. That could be a Gemini instead of a Libra. But don't ex exclude all the air signs. That could be an air sign that is significant for you. Or that you have to decide okay, about. Mm, that could be your soulmate. Boom! Love it, love it, love it. Okay. So throw out the bad. Let the wish come. In, let there be room for you to come in so that your wish can be fulfilled. And you can you get this uh, crystal, Dormice, right from the Pinterest. Just write that name in. I'll hold it up for you so you can write the name down it's from the Crystal Spirit Oracle deck from Colin Collet Darren Reed and use its power, its healing power whilst you're meditating okay get or contemplating and evaluating boom number four Stab again four so st you can get stability and a proper foundation set this week I hope you've enjoyed the reading take care and be blessed and stay safe